is betrothed. What's going on, everyone? Dark Side Phil here, and welcome to another uh, welcome to another edition of DSP tries it. Uh, this is the series, of course, where I try all kinds of different products, whether it be a food, a beverage, an electronic, anything. It could be anything, and uh, I rate it. And uh, due to responses on the last episode, if you didn't check it out, uh, I definitely check it out. It was earlier this week. I checked out Jolt Energy drinks. Uh, Jolt Energy drinks are things that I've been drinking in the past month or so, but I'd already tasted all of the flavors, and I was basically just rating the drinks. Well, people said, well, Phil, we like it when you actually, for the very first time, try a product, you know, something you've never had before in the video live. That's what we really like about it, because you can have a hilarious reaction. Um... And in particular, I got a couple requests to actually try this drink. This is a brand new drink called Monster Rehab. Unlike other Monster Energy drinks, this is not a carbonated drink. This is supposed to be a combination of tea plus lemonade plus energy, non-carbonated. And I guess the whole reasoning behind it is like if, if you were out last night and you were you're partying all night or you were out you know, maybe doing a 24-hour gaming session trying to beat Mass Effect 3 or whatever it could have been, you know, a wild sex romp, and you need to recharge your batteries, this is what you would try to drink. At least that's how they're marketing it, from what I'm to understand. So, I'm a little beat, and uh, I need to get some, some energy up, because there's only 5% juice in the thing, which is pretty funny. So, uh, just taking a quick look before we even drink it. It does say, as typical for energy drinks, has a bunch of different B vitamins, 100% of your daily value of those vitamins, and... Uh, it's pretty much the usual, taurine, ginseng, the things that you usually see. Now this has a, a unique rehab energy blend, it says right there, which they don't explain what that is, but that's supposed to be like their secret ingredients of what supposedly this uses to rejuvenate you. So, all right, so uh, all black top, by the way, which is different from the usual monster drinks. So let's open this guy up. Let's see what exactly what it tastes like. We got that nice carbonated steam coming out of it, which is nice. So let's see. It doesn't smell like anything. It kind of smells like maybe a hint of tea, but not really. All right, so let's get a taste. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. It kind of tastes like it's like tea. Sour cough syrup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like really sour aftertaste. Oh, it's, it's overpowering my tongue. Can't stop. <laughs> oh, I gotta have another sip, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, oh my god. Oh, it's so, it's so, it's like drinking a fucking Sour Patch Kid. It's so sour. I didn't expect that at all. I thought it would be like tea. It's sour as fuck. Oh. Oh, and it gets worse with, as, you, as time passes. It gets worse. Oh. Oh, my God. All right, so it's supposed to be tea and lemonade. But when you actually look at the label and you read the ingredients, there's like... Very little to no lemonade in it. It says, I guess it says there is some lemon juice from concentrate there. But, oh, it doesn't taste like lemonade, that's for sure. It tastes like a sour tea. It's weird. That is so weird. I'm going to have to have another sip. Ugh. Oh, it's like a shock. It's like, so, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, it gets, it's like waves of sour on your tongue that like ripple over it when you drink this. Oh, I don't know what is in this fucking thing. Oh, my God. I mean, thank God it's not carbonated is all I have to say, but I thought it was going to be like, like, have you ever had the Arizona, they have like that half and half tea, uh, tea and lemonade. I had that. That's what I thought it was going to be like. It is nothing like that. Oh, I, I. I don't think I like it. I don't know how you could. <laughs> you could like it. It's like drinking a patch of sour or a can of sour. That's exactly what it tastes like. Like you're drinking a can of just sour. I can barely taste the tea. All I taste is a sour taste on my tongue. Ugh. 
Oh my god. Oh, so anyway, only 10 calories per serving, yet of course each can is two servings, so it's 20 calories, and it tastes fucking horrible. So, uh, I guess I have to rate it. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 5, I give it a 1.5. <laughs> it's drinkable, it's not like disgusting. In all honesty, it does taste better than like Red Bull. Uh, I still say that like Red Bull is the fucking worst. I think it tastes disgusting. But uh, it's just overwhelming sourness. And who would want to drink an overwhelmingly sour beverage in the morning? You know, like when you think of your 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 your, your beverages in the morning: coffee, which is bitter; orange juice, which is sweet; grapefruit juice, which is kind of combination of sweet and bitter. Who would want something that's fucking so sour? I just don't understand what they were thinking. But I guess they thought it tastes like lemonade when it really doesn't taste like lemonade at all. It's awful. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for another episode of DSP Tries It. I hope you enjoyed my pain and suffering. I think I should have another sip. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Oh, it's so sour. Oh, my lips feel like they want to pucker up. <laughs> so I'm like sucking out a citrus lemon or something. I don't know. Oh, my God. All right, so that's it for DSP Tries It. Monster Rehab gets a 1.5. It tastes like shit.